Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to solve a problem based on the method of variation of parameters. So this is d square plus 4 into y equal to 4 secant square 2x. Now as a first part, we have to write the auxiliary equation which is m square plus 4 equal to 0. So m square equal to minus 4. So m is equal to plus or minus 2i. This is of the form alpha plus or minus i beta. So where alpha is 0 and beta is 2. Now the complementary function formula is e power alpha x into c1 cos beta x plus c2 sin beta x. So e power 0 x is 1. So we write the second term c1 cos beta is 2. So 2x plus c2 sin 2x. Now compare this with the general form of the complementary function which is c1 f1 plus c2 f2. So we get f1 equal to cos 2x and f2 is sin 2x. Now particular integral formula is p f1 plus q f2. For finding p and q we have separate formula. p is minus integral f2 into x dx by f1 f2 dash minus f1 dash f2 and q is integral f1 into x dx by f1 f2 dash minus f1 dash f2. In both the expression we find the same denominator. So let's find this separately f1 f2 dash minus f1 dash f2. f1 is cos 2x and f2 is sin 2x and we have to find its derivative minus cos 2x whole dash into f2 is sin 2x. Now cos 2x written as it is sin 2x is its derivative is cos 2x into 2 minus derivative of cos 2x is minus sin 2x into 2 and last term sin 2x as it is. Now the first term is 2 cos square 2x and second term is plus 2 sin square 2x. By taking 2 common we get cos square 2x plus sin square 2x. So we left with only 2 because cos square theta plus sin square theta is 1. So the answer is 2. Now coming to the calculation of p minus integral f2 into x dx by f1 f2 dash minus f1 dash f2 which is minus integral f2 is sin 2x. So here we write sin 2x and the x is nothing but the function present on the right side 4 secant square 2x. So here it is 4 secant square 2x into dx 4 divided by 2. We can cancel this and this can be taken out. So we get minus integral sin 2x into this 2 can be taken out and secant square 2x is 1 by cos square 2x dx. So finally this is nothing but minus 2 integral sin by cos is tan but tan 2x and one more cos is remaining in the denominator when I carry up it will become secant 2x dx. It's a direct formula its integration is secant 2x by 2 because differentiation of secant x is secant x tan x. 
So integration of secant x and x is secant x. Since there is a coefficient 2, we have to divide and this will get cancelled. So finally, p is minus secant 2x. Now coming to q, which is integral f1 into x dx by f1 f2 dash minus f1 dash f2. So f1 from here, it is cos 2x. So we take cos 2x into 4 secant square 2x into dx whole divided by 2. We can cancel this, it will become 2 and 2 can be taken out and cos 2x as it is secant square 2x is 1 by cos square 2x. We can cancel this and this and we left with 1 by cos 2x which when we carry up it is going to become secant 2x and we have formula for integration which is nothing but log of secant x tan x but here it is secant 2x plus tan 2x and since there is a coefficient 2 we have to divide by that so this will get cancelled so q is log of secant 2x plus tan 2x so we get the particular integral which is by formula p into f1 plus q into f2 so value of p which we got here is minus secant 2x so minus secant 2x into f1 is cos 2x plus this is log of secant 2x plus tan 2x into f2 is sin 2x. Anyway, this secant 2x is 1 by cos 2x. So, we can cancel. The remaining will be minus 1 plus we have sin 2x into log of secant 2x plus tan 2x. So, the complete solution y equal to cf plus pi. So, y equal to c1 cos 2x plus c2 sin 2x then minus 1 plus sin 2x into log of secant 2x plus tan 2x.